It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. Joe asked a question I'm getting a lot these days. He says his antivirus expiration date is up. He wants to know what the best antivirus is for Windows. My answer might surprise you next. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. All you do is remember your master password and LastPass remembers the rest. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Joe writes, my Bitdefender expired two days ago. I'm looking to the top-rated virus protection. Bitdefender was at one time, but I see so many scan protection as number one. I don't know if I should keep Bitdefender or buy a new one. What's the top antivirus today? Joe, you hit a hot button for me. Antiviruses. I don't like them. I don't use them. I don't recommend them. You're asking what the highest rated antivirus is. Here's the problem. It's really hard to test antiviruses. There are lots of places that do, lots of respectable places like Virus Bulletin. But in no case can you test antiviruses in a real world situation. That just would be too dangerous. So the way all antivirus tests and rating services work is they have Tame, tame viruses that they've collected and they throw them at the antivirus and they give a percentage score for the number of viruses detected, the number of viruses blocked. And that works okay, except it's nothing like the real world. In most cases, you're going to in encounter viruses that are not only old viruses, but viruses that are brand new. Viruses that aren't in that test suite, viruses your antivirus doesn't even know about. And your antivirus is going to miss them. In no case... Will any antivirus, even the best, catch all viruses? In most cases, they catch fewer than half. That's bad news. It means an antivirus gives you a false sense of confidence. Oh, I got an antivirus. I don't have to worry about security. Yes, you do. So that's reason number one, I don't like antiviruses. Reason number two is antiviruses are not like a regular program on your computer. They don't run in user land. They run as a system application. They hook themselves deep within Windows. And that's problematic because if there's anything wrong with your antivirus, if there's a bug or worse, a security flaw in it, it is dangerous to be using that antivirus. We've seen this happen time and time again with big brand name antiviruses that they have actually provided a conduit to bad guys into your system. It's less secure, not more secure. So it gives you a false sense of confidence. It can actually lower your reliability, slow your system down, and even make you less secure. But here's the good news. You already have a very good antivirus built into Windows 10. Microsoft's Defender is actually as highly rated as any commercial virus. It's free. It comes with Windows 10. It's all you need. I don't recommend going out and buying a third-party antivirus. It's not going to improve your security. It's going to reduce reliability, and it's going to give you a sense of false confidence. If you, it, it, The best thing to do, of course, is to remember safe computing and so be careful about the places you go be careful about the links you click the the information you take the emails you open you've got to be super cautious and uh, trust windows defender it's going to do the best job of anything um, no antivirus can do better so the answer is you already have the best antivirus it's windows defender Thanks for watching Ask the Tech Guy or listening. I hope you'll come back and listen again. Make sure you subscribe to our show. You can do it by just going to twit.tv slash ATG or find us in your favorite podcast application. We're on YouTube. You can even ask your Amazon Echo or your Google Assistant to play the latest version of Ask the Tech Guy. I'm Leo Laporte. We'll see you next time. Our show today brought to you by LastPass. And they're beefing up their business line. We use LastPass Enterprise at Works, which has something called single sign-on technology. LastPass MFA goes beyond standard two-factor authentication through the use of biometrics like face ID and fingerprint readers and geolocation like IP address to give you a more secure solution. LastPass Identity combines both LastPass Enterprise and LastPass MFA. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email ask the tech guy at twit.tv.